More than 40% of the children born in Paris in 2008 had at least one foreign parent, if not both. Despite that, French always dominates to the detriment of the child's second language. We spoke to Barbara Abdelila Bauer, an expert on bilingualism and an advocate for the mixing of cultures. We know that more than half the people in the world are bilingual or multilingual. Sophie has just turned five, and she already speaks three languages. At home, she plays using both French and German with her father, and also Spanish with her mother. It sounds simple, but Cecilia and Simon asked for the advice of experts on what the ideal learning environment would be for their child. We were told that the best for Sophie would be that each parent only speaks to her in one language. When we're in Germany, she speaks with her grandmother in German, and when we were in Argentina for the summer, she communicated in Spanish. One day a week, Sophie goes to a German school. Bilingualism has been a real success for this family, but for others, it's a real headache. That's when Barbara Abdelila Bauer steps in. She's a psychosociologist specialising in bilingualism and has given dozens of couples advice on how to achieve a positive outcome for a child in a mixed language environment. There are more than 5 million people in France who have a mother tongue other than French, however they are hesitant to use it with their children. When somebody speaks English or French, generally we say it's wonderful that their child will master two major international languages. The same can't be said when the child speaks French and Chinese, French and Arabic or, say, Turkish and Serbo-Croat. Society has a negative image of those languages. As a linguist, I see it as a great opportunity to speak another language, but that's not the way everybody sees it. At the Musée du Quai Branly in Paris, extinct languages are well documented. Experts are aiming for a future where every language and culture has a place in the world. Barbara is determined to change French society's complex with bilingualism. A child can learn as many languages as necessary in order to communicate. If the youngster's father speaks one language, his mother another, his grandmother something else, and the nanny speaks another language, then the child will be able to speak four languages. There are countries where people communicate in six different languages every day. Barbara Abdelila Bauer is convinced that in the future there will be more bilingual people and the world will become a less foreign place. Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.